Hey baby girls, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing super super well today. Welcome to another video. So for today's video, we will be working with ombres, with a lot of ombre. <laughs> so for that, we're going to be using our gel polishes. I don't remember the numbers to these gel polishes. These are from my website, but I will have them in the description box below just in case you want to know which ones they are. But it is the teal one, like the minty teal one. And it is the pink one okay so I'm also using my 3xl square tips for this and yeah I really wanted to do something like this I had been seeing the whole butterfly effect no not the effect but the whole butterfly um, design all throughout Instagram and I really wanted to try something like that but like adding my like my own personal touch to it and I came up with this I really hope you guys enjoy it so then let's kind of begin on on what we're gonna be working on today so first things first I went ahead and added my two colors here in my middle nail and also my ring finger and I'm gonna be ombreing that it's gonna be a vertical ombre okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I went ahead and placed both of my colors or both of my gels and then when they with a flat uh, brush I just went ahead and ombre those two colors together and once you're satisfied with what they're looking like, then you go ahead and cure them. Um, after they're nice and cured, I went ahead and added a matte top coat. To me, I prefer adding a matte top coat other than a shiny top coat when working on encapsulating gels. Just because to me, it's easier to ombre. Because in this case, we will be doing an ombre using my Butter Pecan. So yeah, that's the nude that we're going to be using in today's video. It is called Butter Pecan. I believe it's still available on my website. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, the link to my website will be in the description box below. And don't forget to use any of our brand ambassadors coupon codes for 15% off. So if you forget to add your discount code whenever you check out, I cannot do anything about it anymore. Like there's nothing I could do about it. Um, you forgot, you forgot. So please, if you're willing or you want to use a discount code, make sure you add it once you check out because after you check out, I will not be able to do nothing about it. And I will not be able to like discount that or give you back your money because you forgot the coupon code or you know what I mean? Like there's literally nothing I can do about it. So yeah, I'm going to start by ombreing my butter pecan here. So as you guys can see, I'm doing it in real time. The whole gel process, I went ahead and did it in, well, I sped it up times two. But in this case, acrylic application wise, I am doing it in real time.
Okay, so for the index nail and the pinky, I went ahead and added the nude, which is the cover butter pecan. Um, all throughout the nail, you guys can totally go ahead and do these two nails clear, just using your crystal clear acrylic. But I went ahead and did the like a cover nude underneath. You know what I mean? Just it works as a base. It's really nothing. Like it's not gonna help anything. It's there's no difference. You know what I mean? I don't know i just went ahead and did it this way again you can totally do it in crystal clear acrylic in pink whatever you want to use even if you want your base to be um using two acrylics i would have used my pink and my minty um acrylics from my pastel collection and that would have worked perfect as well but i don't know you guys i really wanted to use the gels and yeah this is how i did it but there's many ways you could do it so i went ahead and did it this way um the monomer that i'm using is from glam and glitz still and i'm also using my crystal clear acrylic from my website which right now is currently sold out i'm just waiting on my four ounce containers to arrive um after that after they arrive we will be having our cover nudes in four ounce containers and our crystal clear acrylic in four ounce containers as well i'm also using my number 14 kalinsky brush and i believe that one is almost sold out also my number 12 they're still in stock but they're almost sold out so yeah that's pretty much what i'm going to be doing to these nails and then after that i'm going to go ahead and cap everything
and for filing you guys know the drill you guys know what i do the steps that i take to file the nail so really there's not anything for me to explain here um sometimes if you watch what i'm doing it's better like that other than me trying to explain what i'm doing maybe i confuse you more while i talk other than you guys see what i'm doing so yeah i'm gonna leave you guys to this part and then we'll be back
okay so here are freshly out of the filing process and i went ahead and cleansed them with a little bit of alcohol and a lint free wipe and now we're going to be working with our vertical ombres i don't know what you call these you guys i totally forgot they were these were like so popular last year and everybody and their mamas were doing it so i went ahead and tried it in today's video i've done it in halloween um i think i did it twice for halloween and they turned out beautiful so i went ahead and tried it this time using these two colors because i really wanted to try it again it looks beautiful you guys honestly it just gives the nail a different touch i guess i don't know you guys it just looks beautiful but anyway um i went ahead and did the ombre exactly how i did it on the two middle nails and then i went ahead and cured it under the lamp and once it comes out of the lamp i'm gonna go ahead and add both of the colors just how i did it but i'm gonna go ahead and do it like opposite like where the blue was i'm gonna add the pink on top of that and where the pink was we're gonna be adding the minty blue on top of that and then we're gonna start to ombre those two colors again using the same flat brush whatever flat brush you have or if you have an ombre brush that works perfect too whatever brush that works for you is perfect for this do not cure it yet okay we're gonna start by doing the um ombre with the brush and once you are satisfied with what with how the ombre is looking like um then we do not cure it <laughs> please do not cure it yet because that's what's gonna make the trick if you go ahead and cure it you will not have a trick so um after you're satisfied with the ombre then we're gonna be going in with another brush in this case um this is kind of like an oval i guess oval brush um, it's not really flat brush. Yeah, it's more oval. And I'm going to start by doing these little lines. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense, you guys. Um, it kind of, at the end, it kind of looked a little jagged on the sidewalls. Um, the gel always tends to give, like, extra thickness to the nail. And for some reason, where I cleansed the part with this brush... I hope I'm making sense. Um, it kind of looks a little jagged. It kind of looks a little like, I don't know, you guys. It, it looks funny, but um, I don't know. I'm still working on that, and I'm still trying to get that down because I really don't like how that looks. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything turned out good. But I just didn't like that part where it kind of looks a little wonky on the side walls because of the gel polish. So yeah, um, after you're satisfied with your lines, the lines that you just created, you go ahead and cure it under the lamp for about 30 to 40 seconds. And now with our 15mm liner brush, these liner brushes are back in stock. Well, they've always been in stock, but the set was out of stock. And recently it's back in stock. If you guys want to buy the whole collection of the three brushes, you're more than welcome to do that. They will be in my website. So yeah, I am using my number 15 mm liner brush. And I'm going to be doing like this a little design, which I don't even know, you guys. I'm still practicing on doing butterflies. I am not. I don't know, you guys. I just don't know how to draw butterflies. They're really hard. So I went ahead and did these little, like these little ovals, I guess. I don't even know. And um, I went ahead and did it in pink. And I went ahead and also used my teal or my minty blue, whatever you want to call it. So I went ahead and did it like this. You guys can totally do it however you want to do it. Again, I do need more practice because they were just not giving, honestly. <laughs> I, they were not my favorite. But um, I went ahead and did it this way. Um, you guys can totally follow what I'm doing here or you guys can do it however you want again because I really don't know what I was doing so um after I'm, I completed the pink ones I'm gonna be going in with the teal ones exactly the same
So now we're going to be making all of our nails matte. This, I believed, well, I think, that the design looked better in matte, especially when you're doing a little bit of freehand. Everything just, I don't know, it just brings everything together. Everything looks more, I don't know, you guys, that's just me. Um, I think matte looks really, really nice. So I went ahead and did all these nails matte. And the matte top coat is from my website as well. All these products are literally from my website. So you guys can find everything on my website. Um, except for the monomer <laughs> and the crystal clear acrylic because it's sold out but other than that everything is on my website so um, I'm gonna go ahead and mat all these nails out and I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for about a minute and that's pretty much it after that's done and cured with I'm gonna go in with these little butterflies what no these little flowers I'm sorry and these little flowers are from my website as well I really love them I really like how they look these are just so spring vibes they're so beautiful so if you guys don't have them go to my website because i do have them there as well and uh of course i'm gonna be using the pink and the teal ones and then i also went ahead and used some white because i thought i needed some white in here other than just pink and blue for some reason this was giving me like baby shower vibes i don't know <laughs> or gender reveal vibes for some reason i don't know um i guess because of the pink and the blue but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add these little flowers. And I'm also going to go ahead and add some crystals. The crystals that I am using are the ones from Blue Streak. If you guys want um, good quality crystals, you guys can always use my code for Blue Streak crystals. I am using the Serenity crystals, which are the most beautiful crystals. And they almost look like Swarovski's, to be honest. Um, they have that exact same shine. They're very high quality, so if you guys are interested, I will have the link to their website as well as my coupon code in the description box below. And this is the end result. Um, don't forget to add your cuticle oil. You don't want your nails looking all crusty dusty. So please make sure you add your cuticle oil. Um, and this is the end result. I really hope you guys liked it. Personally, I did enjoy it. I did like it. Um, except for the fact of the gel polish, which was making my sidewalls look like, I don't know, like jagged, like 
like i don't know you guys they weren't looking straight okay so yeah that was not my favorite part but other than that i really liked it i really liked the design um i really liked everything about it so tell me what you guys think in the comment section i'll be reading you guys over there um thank you so much for being here um i hope you guys have a beautiful and safe easter um with your family or whoever it is have a beautiful and safe easter i will see you here on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye